Now let's look at how to reduce depreciation of the currency in Uganda. How to reduce on the depreciation of the shilling. The first is import substitution strategy to reduce the country's import bill. If we if we produce the things that we always import and we produce them locally, it reduces on the amount of money that we spend on the what that we spend on imports. Yes, so it will help to increase on the value of the currency in the long run. Another one is export promotion to increase the volume and variety of exports by adding value to our exports and exporting quality. So if we if we if we promote exports and we demand for pay for, for the payment of the export in our local currency, it will help to increase on the value of our currency. Yeah. Another one is development of the tourism sector to fetch more forex. Development of the tourism sector to fetch more forex. Since, since the tourist always come with money, you know, in foreign currency. Yeah. So you, if you promote to, to, to tourism, you can easily get more foreign earnings. Then another one is operation, operationalization of the local content. For example, the buy Uganda, build Uganda. We, we, we buy our local goods in our local currency to increase on the what? On the value of our currency. Another one is work on expectations. For example, reduce political uncertainty to curb speculation and capital flight. Yeah. So if you, if, you, if you reduce the capital, I mean if you reduce the political uncertainty, that will not be inflation and the value of the of the what of the currency will go high or will remain the same it will not go low it will not depreciate yeah. so those are some of the ways of reducing depreciation thanks for watching this has been the end of uh, topic two which is macroeconomic indicators